What is transformation in Spark? Spark provides two special operations on RDDs called transformations and actions. Transformation follow lazy operation and temporary hold the data until unless called the action. Each transformation generate, return new RDD. Example of transformations, map, flat map, group by key, reduce by key, filter, co-group, join, sort by key, union, distinct, sample are common spark transformations. Can you define yarn? Like Hadoop, yarn is one of the key components in Spark, giving a central and resource organization stage to pass on versatile operations across the cluster. Running Spark on yarn requires a matched apportionment of Spar as built on yarn support. What are common Spark ecosystems? Spark SQL, Shark, for SQL developers. Spark streaming for streaming data. ML lib for machine learning algorithms. Graphs for graph computation. Sparker to run R on Spark Engine. BlinkDB enabling interactive queries over massive data are common Spark ecosystems. Graphs, Sparker and BlinkDB are an incubation stage. In detail see above questions. What is dataset? A dataset is a new addition in the list of Spark libraries. It is an experimental interface added in Spark 1.6 to v2.2.1 that tries to provide the benefits of RDDs with the benefits of Spark SQL's optimized execution engine. What are actions? An action brings back the data from the RDD to the local machine. Execution of an action results in all the previously created transformation. The example of actions are Reduced ash executes the function passed again and again until only one value is left. The function should take two argument and return one value. Take dash take all the values back to the local node form RDD. Explain Spark map transformation. Map transformation takes a function as input and apply that function to each element in the RDD. Output of the function will be a new element, value, for each input element x.val rdd1 equals sc. Parallelize list 10, 20, 30, 40. Val rdd2 equals rdd1. Map x equals xx. Print on rdd2. Collect. mk string. Explain the action count in Spark RDD. Count is an action in Apache Spark RDD operation. Count returns the number of elements in RDD. Example. Val RDD1 equals SC. Parallelize list 11, 22, 33, 44. Print on RDD1. Count. Output 4. Is the following approach correct? Is the SQRT a sum of SQ a valid reducer? Nums as text equals SC. Text file HDFS colon slash slash Hadoop 1. No big data. Com web link. Def to int SDR. Return int str. Nums equals nums as text dot map to int. Def sqrt a sum of sqx, y. Return math dot sqrt xx plus y y. Total equals nums dot reduce sum. Import math. Print math dot sqrt total. A. Yes. The approach is correct and sqrt a sum of sq is a valid reducer. Explain about map partitions and map partitions with index. Map partitions and map partitions with index are both transformation. Map partitions, map partitions can be used as an alternative to map and forage. Map partitions can be called for each partitions while map and forage is called for each elements in an RDD. Hence one can do the initialization on per partition basis rather than each element basis. Map partitions, map partitions with index is similar to map partitions but it provides second parameter index which keeps the track of partition. What is Hive on Spark? Hive contains significant support for Apache Spark, wherein Hive execution is configured to Spark. Hive set spark.home equals slash location slash to slash spark home. Hive set hive.execution.engine equals spark. Hive on Spark supports Spark on Yarn mode by default. Explain how can Spark be connected to Apache MISOs. 
to connect Spark with MISOs. Configure the Spark driver program to connect to MISOs. Spark binary package should be in the location accessible by MISOs. Install Apache Spark in the same location as that of Apache MISOs and configure the property spark.misos.executor.home to point to the location where it is installed. Can you define Parquet file? Parquet is a columnar format file supported by many other data processing systems. Spark SQL performs both read and write operations with Parquet file and consider it be one of the best big data and analytics formats so far. Can you define RDD lineage? Spark does not support data replication in the memory and thus, if any data is lost, it is rebuilt using RDD lineage. RDD lineage is a process that reconstructs lost data partitions. The best is that RDD always remembers how to build from other datasets. Can you define page rank? A unique feature and algorithm in graph, page rank is the measure of each vertex in the graph. For instance, an edge from U to V represents endorsement of V's importance by U. In simple terms, if a user at Instagram is followed massively, it will rank high on that platform. Can you explain broadcast variables? Broadcast variables allow the programmer to keep a read-only variable cached on each machine rather than shipping a copy of it with tasks. They can be used to give every node a copy of a large input dataset in an efficient manner. Spark also attempts to distribute broadcast variables using efficient broadcast algorithms to reduce communication cost. Can you explain accumulators in Apache Spark? Accumulators are variables that are only added through an associative and commutative operation. They are used to implement counters or sums. Tracking accumulators in the UI can be useful for understanding the progress of running stages. Spark natively supports numeric accumulators. We can create named or unnamed accumulators. What do you know about transformations in Spark? Transformations are functions implemented on RDD, resulting into another RDD. It does not execute until an action occurs. Map and Filer are examples of transformations, where the former applies the function passed to it on each element of RDD and results into another RDD. The filter creates a new RDD by selecting elements form current RDD that pass function argument. What is Spark Executor? When Spark contexts connect to a cluster manager, it acquires an executor on nodes in the cluster. Executors are Spark processes that run computations and store the data on the worker node. The final tasks by Spark context are transferred to executors for their execution. What do you know about schema or DD? Schema RDD is an RDD that consists of row objects, wrappers around the basic string or integer arrays, with schema information about the type of data in each column. These are some of the popular questions asked in an Apache Spark interview. Always be prepared to answer all types of questions, technical skills, interpersonal, leadership or methodology. If you are someone who has recently started your career in big data, you can always get certified in Apache Spark to get the techniques and skills required to be an expert in the field. Can you explain Worker Node? Worker Node refers to any node that can run the application code in a cluster. The driver program must listen for and accept incoming connections from its executors and must be network addressable from the Worker Nodes. Worker Node is basically the slave node. Master node assigned work and worker node actually performs the assigned tasks. Worker nodes process the data stored on the node and report the resources to the master. Based on the resource availability, the master schedule tasks. Explain how can you minimize data transfers when working with Spark? Minimizing data transfers and avoiding shuffling helps write Spark programs that run in a fast and reliable manner. The various ways in which data transfers can be minimized when working with Apache Spark are Using broadcast variable Broadcast variable enhances the efficiency of joins between small and large RDDs. Using accumulators Accumulators help update the values of variables in parallel while executing. The most common way is to avoid operations by key, repartition or any other operations which trigger shuffles. 
explain how can Apache Spark be used alongside Hadoop. The best part of Apache Spark is its compatibility with Hadoop. As a result, this makes for a very powerful combination of technologies. Here, we will be looking at how Spark can benefit from the best of Hadoop. Using Spark and Hadoop together helps us to leverage Spark's processing to utilize the best of Hadoop's HDFS and YARN. Why is there a need for broadcast variables when working with Apache Spark? Broadcast variables are read-only variables, present in memory cache on every machine. When working with Spark, usage of broadcast variables eliminates the necessity to ship copies of a variable for every task, so data can be processed faster. Broadcast variables help in storing a lookup table inside the memory which enhances the retrieval efficiency when compared to an RDD lookup. Can you explain benefits of Spark over MapReduce? Due to the availability of in-memory process, Spark implements the process around 10100x quicker than Hadoop MapReduce. MapReduce makes use of persistent storage for any of the data process tasks. Unlike Hadoop, Spark provides inbuilt libraries to perform multiple tasks form the same core like batch processing, steaming, machine learning, interactive SQL queries. However, Hadoop only supports batch processing. Hadoop is highly disk dependent whereas Spark promotes caching and in-memory data storage. Spark is capable of performing computations multiple times on the same dataset. This is called iterative computation while there is no iterative computing implemented by Hadoop. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.